Well, if you can hear behind me, I don't know if I can talk over it or not, you can tell it's spring. The sound of spring behind me is the sound of spring peepers, it's the sound of chorus frogs, and these tiny little frogs make such a big noise that if you walk into a chorus like the one behind me, you'll leave with your ears ringing. So let's see if we can go take a close-up look at what they're doing. Spring peepers and chorus frogs are actually very tiny tree frogs, though they spend almost all their time on or really close to the ground. Most spend their time calling from the thick grassy margins of these wetlands where they can quickly hide if a predator approaches. Even though hundreds, if not thousands, of these little frogs are calling all around this wetland, it's very difficult to find them because they're so well camouflaged and so nervous by day. So this little critter is a spring peeper. It's one of the tiny frogs we've been hearing calling everywhere, but they're very wary today. Often they are in the daytime, not letting me get very close. But this one I was able to see and actually get a hand on to give you an up close and personal look. They're very cute. Spring peepers have this sort of characteristic X on their back which is one of the best ways to tell that you're looking at a peeper. As nighttime sets in, breeding activity intensifies. The frogs become bolder and it's easier to get close to them. Small gelatinous egg sacs are easily found attached to grass blades and sticks. You can see the tiny eggs beginning to develop. Male spring peepers let out this high-pitched whistling call to try to attract a mate. It's really more of a competition than a chorus. Chorus frogs have a very different call. It sounds more like the sound made by running your finger down the teeth of a comb. These cute, noisy frogs aren't the only amphibians using this wetland. Stay tuned to next time when we get into the silent side of amphibian life.